My name is Danica, I'm a contributing editor at Book Riot, and today I wanted to talk about why I see my reading slumps as red flags. So I think everyone has ebbs and flows in their reading, even if reading's a really important part of your life. Sometimes they're really minor, just month to month your reading life varies a little bit, but you average out to about the same. Sometimes they can be really dramatic, like reading 20 books one month and zero in the next month, and they can also be short or long term. Sometimes it means a whole year that you don't read very much at all, and I think that's totally normal and natural. For some people it's just because another hobby has caught their interest for a little while, sometimes it's just that you're really busy and you don't find as much time for reading as you usually would, or possibly you just didn't find any books that really piqued your interest at that point. Reading has always been a really big part of my life and my identity, and the amount I've read in my life has fluctuated a lot. So I don't know how much I read as a kid because I wasn't keeping track of it, but I remember reading constantly. I would devour series like Animal Ark and Babysitter's Club. When the new Harry Potter book came out I'd be trying to read all of it in one day if I could. Since I've started to keep track though, I've seen my average reading year go from around 50 to about 100. I think part of that is just keeping track of how much I'm reading motivates me to read more, but it also marks when I started book blogging, and book blogging has really encouraged me to read more. It's introduced me to so many more books, and it's also made reading more of a priority in my life. I don't always hit 100 books in a year, but when I do I feel like that's a good number for me. It usually means that I'm reading regularly, but I don't have to really sacrifice anything to get there. Sometimes that number dips a bit though, and I've started to realize that if I'm nowhere near that number it usually is a problem for me. I didn't notice that it was a problem at first because like I said I think reading slumps are totally normal and obviously you're gonna read more or less at different times in your life, so I'd never really considered it a problem. But what I've noticed lately is that if I'm not reading regularly I don't feel very good. Most of my adult life I've had a commute to and from school or work, and during that time I'm usually on the bus and I usually use that time for reading. And that has meant that reading is part of my daily routine. Supplemented with a little weekend reading, it's meant that I get as much reading in as I feel is beneficial. But lately my schedule has been changing a lot and I don't really have much of a daily routine anymore. Often I'm leaving the house at such an early time in the morning that I don't feel awake enough to start reading, and losing that scheduled block of daily reading has meant that reading has sort of fallen out of my routine. As I went through the stress of my teaching program and then practicum, I noticed that I stopped listening to audiobooks and started listening exclusively to podcasts because they were a little more rapid fire, they could keep my attention better, and even if I totally zoned out for parts of it I didn't feel like I was missing anything crucial. So lately I haven't been reading at all in my average day, even though my phone reminds me every day that I should be reading before bed. But I've fallen out of the habit and it's been hard to get back into it. I find it difficult to dedicate times in my day to read because I always have this feeling that there's something else I should be doing. I think I was busy for so long that it feels weird to not have something urgent to be doing at every second, but even though I feel like there are other things I should be doing, the reality is that I'm not spending my time doing productive things, I'm spending my time wasting time on the internet. Sometimes just wasting whole days feeling vaguely stressed and not really doing anything. And I've noticed a pattern of when I tend to fall into these anxious, restless, aimless points in my life, and it is usually accompanied with a reading slump. I'm not sure of the cause and effect there. Obviously Obviously if I'm feeling anxious and aimless I'm probably less likely to pick up a book, but I also find reading to be kind of meditative. I find reading to be really grounding. I feel like I can think more clearly when I'm reading regularly, and I think it's because reading allows me to be outside of my head for a while. It's the most immersive experience in my life, where in the best case scenario of reading, when I'm totally absorbed in a book, I forget that I'm even reading at all. It's like I am just subsumed in the story. It's it's not like I'm watching it happen, it's like I'm in it. And as someone who tends to overthink, I feel like that's really good for me. I'm the kind of person who finds it very difficult to fall asleep every night, because how do you turn your brain off? How do you stop it from chattering all the time? Reading lets me stay focused on one thing for a long period of time, and that's not something I do a lot anymore. I tend to spend a lot of time online, and usually when I'm online my attention is split between so many different things. There's always tabs that I'm clicking through, and I tend to not just be be focused on a singular point for a while. And that's why I start to worry when I realize that I'm in a reading slump. It's not about hitting that Goodreads challenge target for its own sake, I'm not really competitive in that way. After all, no human can read at the pace that books are getting published, even if you're only reading the books that you're interested in, so whether you're reading 0.1% of the books you want to or 0.2 doesn't really amount to much of a difference. But I am concerned about my mental state and how going long stretches without reading can affect that. 
that. I think reading can be the best kind of self-care for me and not just the sort of bubble bath indulgent sort of self-care of doing something that you enjoy. I think for me it might be the kind of self-care that is doing stretches every day even when I really don't want to and I'm feeling really lazy because I know that my life is better when I do it. The kind of self-care that is its own sort of work and commitment but that improves my life overall and that when I neglect it I really feel it. So this isn't really a video about how to break out of a reading slump. I think that's different for everyone. I think reading slumps can have a lot of different causes too. For me I think this is a kind of stress response. I think there's a lot of different ways to cure a reading slump and I think it really depends on what kind of reading slump you're in. So I know rereading can be one strategy. Graphic novels tend to be a good one for me. Reading a whole different genre, something that really breaks you out of the books that you have been trying to get into but haven't. Or of course there's the leaning into the reading slump strategy if you think that you just need a break. Of course you can always check out Book Riot and there are many posts that have been done on how to break a reading slump, how to get back into reading regularly. For me I think it's really about re-establishing a reading schedule in my life. I think I need that routine to make sure that I am spending time in recharging my brain and getting myself a little more focused. And as an added bonus I'm sure that I'll actually be a lot more productive if I spend some time doing some reading and hopefully getting out of that kind of aimless restlessness. I think that inclination that I should skip reading in order to do something productive is not actually very effective. I think I tend to just use that time to be on a worried internet spiral. I'm really curious about your thoughts on this. How does reading or not reading affect your mental state? Do you feel like you have to read on a regular basis or are you totally fine just skipping a month? Do you feel that kind of grounding quality when you read? Do you get to kind of escape yourself and do you find that beneficial? Please let me know in the comments because I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this and thank you for watching.